Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Place here, back with another video. Um, welcome. I know it's uh, sorry, I know it's been a bit. Um, and for you guys who are new watching my channel, um, feel free to just hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Um, it means so much to me, and I'm so happy to have you guys here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a donation board that um I actually did not make. Someone else did make this. It's actually by Kai. Now I really want to inform you guys. <clears throat> well, for at least for the developers, of course. Um, this Toolbox website is a new, like, brand new model website that can find these amazing models. Um, it, it hosts a lot of stuff. You know, you can find certain things here. And, I mean, really, guys, I just highly recommend checking this out. Um, but, yeah, so you can just, you know, find the model here. And everything will be in the description. So, feel free to check out the link in the description. You'll make sure to find it there. And, um, yeah, you'll be good. Um, so what you'll do is you're going to actually just download that. And once you download it, you should get just like a little file that should be the, um, the asset. And, um, I, you will head to model. Okay. Up here in this tab and you're going to go to model right here. And what that's going to do is going to allow you to insert a model. So I'm going to go and find my model. Now I'm going to go to my assets or whatever. And it should be this one right here. Let's double check. Yes. All right. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, um, for people who have the donation boards in Vibian, so this is able, you are going to be able to, um, you know, do the same thing with the overhead and everything. And I really recommend updating it. So what I mean is updating that overhead GUI to this one. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to open this up and it's going to have a little readme. And all you got to do is, you know, simply do this little stuff. So you can delete this readme if you want. Um, keep it just like this, you know, don't really do anything else. Um, you can, I mean, I think you can probably take it out, but, um, there's a lot of stuff in here, but what we're going to really look at is this donation board settings. So what's really cool about this. And I like about what he made about this is it's really, it's all customized. It's got this avatar backgrounds. It's got the prices here. It's got the ranks and it's got, you know, bronze, gold, silver, and it actually just has this simple list. So if you want to have a custom prompts and game code, you can do true to that. Um, and you can just change simple things. So if you want to show 25 people on the list or less, you can just simply change this um, number right here. Now for products, how this works is you don't need to worry about which way you laced them because it's going to be automatically going down the top. But what you do, what you do is you go to monetization right here and you say developer products. So donation, donating is a developer product. You want to do a game pass or anything because they won't be able to do that more. So you're going to hit create. And already, as you can see, we don't have a product ID yet. So we're going to edit. We're going to say donation one. And we are going to set this to, let's do whatever, you know, freaking thousand Robux. You're going to hit save. Go back to game settings. I hate how it kind of closes, but, you know, they got to do that. And there you go. There's the product ID. And you can copy ID to clipboard. Go back to the donation settings board. And you just paste it right here. Now, um, I don't think you sh uh, you can delete as many numbers as you want. I think what this will do is basically just pop up what is here. And I really recommend only, um, yeah, all you need to do is put the product idea. I really recommend just uh, making sure you don't, you know, so let's say I do this, it's gonna error out. You wanna make sure you always have a comma because when this is a table, you need to make sure you have a break. It doesn't matter if there's a comma at the end, but as long as um, there isn't a comma in the middle, kind of like that, then you'll be fine. So, um, yeah, we have the ID. We're good. So I'm just going to just, you know, I'll just do one. That works fine. And um, that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do to set this board up. Now, now if you want to customize it, I'm going to talk about that with you. OK, so this is the whole script, of course. Um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is um, refreshing. So this is refreshing every 60 seconds. Now, I recommend to refresh every over at least like 100 to 120 minutes. Um, reason for that is you don't want to overload the data store. So I kind of set this to 120. You can keep that to 60. It just depends on, you know, what you like, your choice. Um, but yeah, so simply, you know, just feel free to do whatever you like. Um, that's all. That's all up to you, you know. Um, but yeah, so... Feel free to like the video if you guys want. <sighs> it means a lot. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys. If you want to create a third character, um, I'm pretty sure it's actually kind of easy. I don't know exactly um, how they did it. Let me just double check real quick and I'll pause the video. All right. So I already found it. So I just searched up character model and it was already in the script. So it looks like it's definitely going to be uh, index one. So what you would probably do, let's just say this for now, um, is you would open another else if and you would say 
um, let's say you, is this sorry guys this is if you want to add more uh, people to this you want to go else if index equals two then or if you want to go else if index equals three then and then what you're going to do is you're simply going to just copy and paste this whole thing into each other one but you do got to do some few things so we have character model so this is gonna be the first one so what we're gonna do to duplicate it go second and then we're gonna go third and what you would do is you name this one two and you would name this one three and then of course you would want to um look at back at the script and so we're in the two right now so we are going to go over here and character model is um that's me a different description so uh as you can see this is script parent character model what you're going to want to do is create this again but you're going to go two and three two and three just like that and then you are going to go back to two and you're going to go this one so now you got to change all of these from character one to character two and you just copy and paste super simple you guys um we'll just have to double check oh let's go like that and character model emotes i'm pretty sure you can just leave the same if i'm right um because they're just the emotes let's see from here real quick script.parent yeah character model emotes just these ones so you're good um and you also can customize them if you want you guys so feel free to mess with these um i'm pretty sure these are roblox assets so you know you don't need to worry uh, about them not working but um yeah so character model overhead parent yeah so this is what we're gonna have to look at in a sec here as well so you see the overhead um we're gonna change it in a sec but you got to go down to here and this one you're gonna actually go three so do that and we'll go three three um and character model three and then of course this is going to find the script character model overhead and now you have this so this was actually what was on these players so if i were to actually go into here and just look what they look like you would just pay, copy and paste it i think let's see here uh let's see sound spawn enabled there we go perfect okay there you go so now what you're gonna do is you want to customize this so we want to make two of them but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say this is top donator so what we're gonna say is we're gonna go second top donator just like that and we can make this kind of that silver color that they had you know you could do whatever color you like um maybe like i don't know honestly how they did the silver i'm kind of stupid um let's just go like that whatever second top donator and then you're actually going to duplicate this again and then you're going to go back to the title and you're going to go third top donator just like that and you could change the color once again i'll just do oh i'll do the brownish whatever that was that little brown color um those are kind of ugly don't do that but so then we're gonna go back we're gonna rename this one two we're gonna rename this one three and then make sure you disable those so they're not enabled we're gonna go back into that script and we're gonna put it right there boom bada b and as you can tell we have three of them now and then all you got to do is simply just change this part right here to the third one and then i'm gonna go back up to the one right here and change this to the second one. Oh, and make sure you do uh this as well so two we're gonna check if it's already there so then we'll go back into this one and change three and there we go so that is how you make uh, multiple characters if you like now um, I hope that kind of helped you guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm leaving this all the links in the description you can check it out um, this was not made by me of course but I give total support and this is an amazing donation board to you guys highly recommend using it for your game um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial <laughs> I'll see you guys all later bye bye